Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, please feel free to write me at walkwithtak at gmail.com if you have any question regarding this video or any other video that I have posted in the past. If you have any video that you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, walks can be divided into two categories round bottom or flat bottom walks. And there are some variation among the flat bottom walks. Uh, some of the flat bottom walks has a small uh, surface area, whereas some has a much larger surface area. And uh, one of the walks that has become very popular is walk with a large flat surface area, uh, frequently known as a walk pen. Uh, so what are the advantages as well as disadvantages of a walk pen? In this video, I'm going to address the pros and cons of walks with different bottom surface. The first walk I'm going to look at is the large 14-inch uh, cast iron walk. Uh, this walk actually is a round bottom walk. Uh, it has a, a pedestal-like structure at the bottom, so actually I can use it right on top of my glass top electric range. Uh, this walk truly is a round bottom walk because of the curvature across the entire surface. Uh, this is a Ken Hong 14-inch carbon steel walk. Uh, it has the smallest uh, bottom surface compared to other flat bottom surface walk. Uh, because of this, the side of the walk has a steeper curvature than almost any other walks. Uh, this walk is the Joyce Chan carbon steel walk. Uh, it has a slightly larger flat bottom area. Its is bottom surface area is larger than the Ken Hong 14-inch carbon steel walk, but not by a whole lot more. The next walk is the Emusa light cast iron walk. Uh, the bottom surface of this walk is definitely larger than the Joyce Chan carbon steel walk. Uh, you measure a little bit under 7 inches across the bottom surface. Uh, the next walk up in this scale is the Kusina 14-inch standard steel walk. Uh, it has the largest surface of a 14-inch walk. Uh, it measures almost 9 inches across. Uh, this walk frequently known as a walk pan uh, because its cooking surface is almost the size of a small frying pan. So as you can see, a wok comes uh, cooking surfaces of different sizes, some smaller and some larger. It seems to make sense that wok with a smaller cooking surfaces might use less cooking oil. So for the remaining of this video, I'm going to test these ideas. Uh, I'm going to use a half tablespoon of oil to fry an egg. So my hypothesis is that to walk with a large cooking surface area, there might not be enough oil to cover the surface, so the egg will not fry properly. Uh, the first walk I'm going to test this is uh, the large 14-inch cast iron wok, which has a round bottom. Uh, the oil pool right in the middle of the wok, as it is suggested, and then I put an egg into the wok. And the curvature of the wok keeps the egg very nice in the middle of the wok. And this wok is well seasoned, so there should be no problem uh, for the egg to slide over the surface of the wok. And, and this is exactly what happened. So, uh, so far, so good. Our first wok performed excellently. So, okay, the next wok I'm going to try is the Ken Hong 14-inch uh, carbon steel wok. And this wok probably has the smallest uh, cooking surface of all the flat bottom woks. Again, I use a half tablespoon of cooking oil and it covered that bottom of the wok quite nicely. As you can see, the bottom of the wok is quite small and the egg is very much constrained by the surrounding the curvature of the wok. Again, the wok is well seasoned. Uh, I have no problem having the egg to slide across the surface of the wok. So, so far so good. The amount of oil seems to be adequate in frying an egg in this wok. The next wok I'm going to test is the Joyce Chan 14-inch carbon steel wok. The problem about this wok is that when you heat it up, it starts to spin. And this is a common problem with a carbon steel wok because they change shape after they being heated. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and test this wok. 
Uh, I'm going to add half tablespoon of canola oil as I have done uh, previously. Uh, right away, you can tell that this wok has a much larger flat surface uh, because the oil uh, do not cover the wok readily. Uh, I have to rock the wok in order to have the oil to flow across the flat surface area. As you can see when I break the egg into the wok, the egg white immediately spread across the surface of the wok. And since the bottom surface of this wok is much larger, there's not much constraint to, pre to prevent the egg white from uh, expanding across the surface of the wok. And because of how the egg white has spread out, you can tell the uh, outcome of this egg is slightly different uh, from the two previous examples. Again, we don't have much problem of the egg stick to the surface of the wok. Okay, so far so good. And next is the Emusa 14-inch light cast iron wok. Uh, it has a larger cook surface area. As I mentioned earlier, it measures about 7 inches across. Uh, you can clearly tell here that the uh, cooking oil is definitely uh, not sufficient to spread at least uh, automatically across the surface of the wok. So I have to tilt the wok to make sure uh, all areas of the bottom surface uh, is covered with cooking oil. And nevertheless, um, a half tablespoon of uh, cooking oil seems to be able to do the job. As in the previous case, when I dropped the egg into the wok, the egg yolks spread readily across the surface of the wok. Uh, in fact, this area is big enough uh, for frying two eggs at the same time. However, there seems to be enough oil uh, because the egg do not stick to the bottom of the wok and able to glide freely on its surface. So okay, last but not the least is the Kusina 14-inch stainless steel wok. Uh, this wok has the largest cook surface area and it measures about 9 inches across. Uh, it is about the size of a standard frying pan. And in fact, the company advertised this as a stir-fry pan. Uh, so as you can tell, a uh, half tablespoon of cooking oil definitely uh, has a hard time covering the entire surface of the wok. So uh, I have to rock the uh, wok in such a way so that the oil will flow across the entire surface of the wok. And nevertheless, it seems to be enough to cover the whole bottom surface. So when I crack the egg into the wok, uh, you can see the egg just flow all over the place. In fact, the only thing constrained from the egg from expanding is when it comes to the edge of the slope. Uh, based on how I fry the egg, uh, you can tell that this wok's bottom surface uh, is significantly larger than the first one we tested, which is the large 14-inch cast iron wok. However, so far so good, because the egg do not stick to the bottom of the wok, so suggest that the uh, uh, half tablespoon of cooking oil is sufficient. Uh, the egg actually turned out as good as uh, the egg in any other previous wok that we have tested. So what is my conclusion? So based on this uh, result, that uh, for half tablespoon of cooking oil, uh, it does very well frying an egg, whether it is in a round bottom wok or in a wok pan, such as that in a Cusina 14-inch stainless steel wok. So from the standpoint of the amount of oil that you need to cover the surface of the wok, uh, the result is obvious. In this case, the round bottom wok is much better. And the large 14-inch wok requires the least amount of oil to cover the cooking surface, whereas the 14-inch Cusina stainless steel wok, uh, due to its large cook surface area, a uh, half tablespoon of cooking oil barely able to cover the cook surface area. If you want to minimize the amount of oil that you would use in your cooking, uh, then the round bottom wok is definitely a better choice. Uh, however, a flat bottom wok with a large cook surface is more versatile. Uh, it will allow you to do shallow frying. Because it can perform like a small frying pan, making an omelet is not a problem at all. And you can also use it to make a grilled cheese sandwich. In fact, two of them. If you are hungry for French toast, it will perform this cooking duty admirably. And if you are hungry for hamburger, a this wok can also perform that cooking duty. And so if you want a wok 
that will use the least amount of cooking oil, then the large 14-inch cast iron wok is probably the best choice. However, if you want to wok with the greatest possibility in performing different cooking functions, then the Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok is a much better wok. Personally, I prefer the 14-inch Cucina stainless steel wok because of its flexibility in carrying out different cooking functions. I post a video every day uh, to introduce my fast cooking system. And the word fast stands for flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. And this cooking system will allow you to cook every day uh, using all fresh ingredients in less than 30 minutes. And this will not only give you the maximum health benefit, but will also allow you to cook the food that you love. Uh, keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.